Zach Wallman is one of the biggest boxing prospects right here in Southern California. He trains at the Wildcard Boxing Club under Freddie Roach. He's a former Golden Glove champion. I'm here with him. So Zach, first of all, what's it like to be a boxing prospect that everybody talks about? I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, fighting out of Los Angeles. And uh, I mean, what's it like to be a boxing prospect everyone talks about? I mean, you know, I, stay, I try to stay humble. I'm staying in the gym. I stay close to Freddie and Eric Brown. And uh, you know, I'm real tight with Paulie Malignaggi. And I'm, I'm just trying to listen and learn and come up the right way and make, make the right moves and not get ahead of myself. So that's where I'm going. Freddie works with the biggest names, with the Pacquiao's, with the Amir Khan's. How do you feel about being an up and comer that, that he spends time with and what has he taught you? I mean, Freddie, I mean, I'm like, I've been like his pet project. Um, you know, I got taken in there when I was 19 and I was having a really, really hard time and uh, I was hanging out on the streets and that, you know, you just said, he said, you stay out of trouble and, you know, you don't, you don't drink, you don't do any drugs and I'll teach you how to fight. And, you know, when the first day when I got into wild card, I mean, he beat me up. And then for about a month and a half, he beat me up. And then he said, all right, kid, you got what it takes. I'm going to teach you how to fight. So, um, I mean, Freddie's been... a real motherfucking Jewish bomber in there, you heard me? Jerry Rosenberg, the Jewish yeah, yeah, bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but you, you have a very compelling story. You turned your life around. You could have been right now locked up or even worse. And because of boxing, now you're like going to be a boxing star. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you know, knock on wood and uh, I'm going to do my best and, and uh, show up and train and listen to Freddie and, and take the advice he gives me and... Uh, I'll be on my way, I'll be doing good things. Now Zach, we always talk about different athletes, you're Jewish and you're the next big Jewish fighter. Do you get a lot of feedback from the Jewish community about your success? Absolutely, I mean, you know, I don't know if you've seen this, but I got a big, big star of David tattooed on my, on my belly and uh... Oh, watch out, it could be a target for some people, right? right? whatever, good luck. <laughs> I'm joking. Best right? of luck, you know what I mean? You, you... And as, as far as the Jewish community goes, I mean, they love it. A, a Jewish fighter, and I'm a throwback, I'm a clean-cut kid, you know, I can, I can talk, I can interview, and, uh, you know, I'm going to show up to fight. Okay, if you had to get in the ring with Amir Khan, how would that look? Have you sparred uh, him yet? I have boxed with Amir, I mean, he's quick. Um, I mean, Amir can fight, I can fight, we're both in, in Freddy's stable, I mean, I can't comment on that, you know, maybe one day you'll, you'll sneak in a wild card and be able to film some sparring, but, uh, I'm, you know, Amir's good, I'd be happy to spar with him, I mean, I was in the ring with Pauli Malignaggi today, we had a great time. How did that go? It's great, I mean, I, I've, been, I've been Pauli's head sparring partner for the last two training camps, I mean, it's been a blast, and like, I learned so much, you know, timing and distance. And, you just and, have to learn how to talk and sell fights like him, you'll be good to go. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, he's got a good mouth piece. He's a good dude, he's a good yeah, he's dude. he's a good dude, and he's been a stand-up dude to me. And that's it. So what do people know about you what, as an amateur Golden Glove champion? Yeah, yeah, you know, Los Angeles Golden Glove champion. Um, not even too...